The campaign train of Labour Party governorship candidates in Abia State, Dr. Alex Oti, resumes after one week break to honor Professor Eliezer Ikonne, the candidate of the PDP in the governorship election who died last week. The day's campaign begins with a visit to the palace of the traditional ruler of Umudiawa Kingdom, His Royal Majesty Nandi Ofoibu, where he met a whole council of traditional rulers. Mr. Oti's campaign train proceeds to Wonderland Event Center, EC Court, Umwahia North, where he inaugurated about 400 members of the State Presidential Campaign Committee with a charge to converse for votes at the grassroots to actualize the presidential bid of Peter Obi and his running mate, Yusuf Dati. We ensure that at the minimum, every word is represented at the campaign council. Uh, a lot of people have subsequently, after we inaugurated the campaign council, joined us from other parties. And some of them, many of them, actually um, uh, as very senior people. So we wanted to recognize them and also give them roles to play in the campaign council. That's why we did that. Member Alex Oti Campaign Council, Chief Victor KG says that Dr. Alex is the best among all candidates vying for the governorship position. Alex has a wealth of experience. And of course, everyone will agree that Abia State is perhaps the most backward state in the entire federation. Virtually, nothing is working. Talking about the health sector, talking about the education sector, talking about the building infrastructure, nothing appears to be working in Abia State. And of course, at this material time, the people of Abia State need someone with a wealth of experience. Earlier, while addressing women, the wife of the governorship candidate of Labour Party, Mrs. Priscilla Oti, pleaded with women in the state to vote for her husband. At least these ones here, I know they are fully obedient and they are with the Labour Party. I want to encourage them because they may be discouraged because of what has happened in the past. Voting, the way it has been done before, has changed with the beavers and it's no longer easy to, you know, to rig elections. So, yes, I, like I said, I brought them the message of hope. For the Labour Party, nothing short of a free, fair and credible election is expected from the Independent National Electoral Commission.